The remarkable impact made by Mr. Innocent Chukuma inspires us all. Today, we are gathered in person and virtually to discuss social impact leadership and nation building. Achieving social impact requires conscious and deliberate efforts on the part of organizations and businesses. My joy here is that several innocent Chukumas have been given birth to, male and female. Impact investment is good for the future of businesses because without it, it's like it's the sole engine of every organization, whether we like it or not, right? So it is not just for people to fund directly the aid of social good, but in the long run, you're also projecting the image of your organization because you can leverage on whatever it is that you're doing to attract more funding. To make a real difference, we have to rise up as a generation to say we will not settle for anything less. And anything less could just be tolerating injustice, could just be tolerating repression and tolerating some slight opposition either to our thoughts, our beliefs and our actions. And we just need to build that courage to rise up and say, no, we cannot accept this. As an organization or an individual who is trying to raise funding, you have to be able to set certain parameters before you get access to this funding. Borrow a cue from late Mr. Innocent Chukuma. Stop antagonizing and start organizing. And respectfully, do something about it. Or oh, please, shut up about it. I would like to thank everyone who has contributed to the legacy of Mr. Innocent Chukuma, especially through us in this fellowship. We also greatly appreciate Ford Foundation for their generous support for the Innocent Chukuma Social Impact Share and Fellowship Program. 